What is the sixth uh, responsibility that I have? See, when I'm working in an organization, that organization has got its own secrets. When I'm working in a college as a professor, this college has its own method of functioning. If I'm working in a company, that company has got its own way of working. So information's considered to be kept secret should always be kept secret. I should never give away the secrets of my organization to the competitor or to the business rival. Okay, how the business is run, what are the products, and what are our suppliers, how are we actually keeping up the reputation of the company. So there are many confidential information which we are not supposed to be divulging out to our competitors or to our business rivals. And this is called confidentiality. See, there are privileged informations. That is, because I'm head of the department, I will be knowing certain information. Okay. So basis of special privilege granted to an employee working on a special assignment. If I'm assigned a special job, naturally, I will be privileged to have certain information which others may not get. Okay. So that is called privileged information, which I'm supposed to be keeping secret. Now, what is proprietary information? See, every company has its own secrets. Okay. And that is basically what you call trade secret. And this trade secret should never be given out to the public. And that proprietary information should be kept a bit secret. Okay. And that is what we call confidentiality. Now, what is actually autonomy? That word itself clearly tells you what it is, isn't it? See, as an engineer, I have a moral autonomy to understand what is right and what is wrong. Recognizing the legitimate control over private information. So every individual, every corporation, every industry has its own private information. So I should be respecting that privacy. Okay. So there is a control which is required to maintain privacy and protect self-interest. Okay. <clears throat> now, see, when I join an organization, I'm actually signing a contract, isn't it? So in my employment contract, I would have already mentioned that I will not divulge certain information which are sensitive to the employer and to the organization. So as a person, as an engineer, I have to respect that promise that I've already made. Okay. Now, I should have regard for public well-being. As an engineer, see, when I tell about me to a doctor. A doctor is never going to divulge my health conditions to the public. Okay. So similarly, as an engineer, whatever I do, I should be remembering that well-being of the people around me is my first and foremost concern. Okay. So every company should maintain some degree of confidentiality concerning their products, the competitiveness within the market where my product is being promoted. Okay. So that is, these are all actually connected to confidentiality. <clears throat> See, employees are obliged to protect confidential information regarding your past employment. Even if I change a job, I'm not supposed to be giving out the secrets of my previous employer. So the confidentiality trust between an employer and an employee continues even after I leave my job. So whether I change jobs or not, as an engineer, I'm supposed to be keeping confidential information. I'm not supposed to be 
giving out the secrets of one company to another company. <clears throat> now, we were talking about the responsibilities of engineers. Now, what is the next responsibility of an engineer? What is called conflict of interest? See, when I'm working in an organization, say my company has a subcontractor. Staying in this company, if I'm trying to be with that subcontractor too, this is actually a conflict of interest. That is, I have an interest, but if I pursue that interest, if it badly affects my present employer or company, this is a conflict of interest. Understood? That is, employee working in one company, serving as a consultant for the competitor's company. Such things are actually against my responsibility as a good engineer. Now, when all this conflict of interest arise, the professional in a relationship or a role that requires exercising good judgment on behalf of the interests of an employer or client. That is, if I have an interest, but if my interest is going to affect my employer or client, I'm not supposed to be taking up that interest. Okay. The professional has some additional or side interest that could threaten the good judgment in serving the interests of the employee or client. Okay, so basically this means that as a responsible engineer, I'm not allowed to do anything that I like which might affect my employer or my present organization. Understood? For example, if an engineer is paid based on a percentage of the cost of the design, and there is no incentive for him to cut cost. The distrust caused by this situation compromises the engineer's ability to cut costs and calls into question his judgment. Okay. So, in short, whatever interest that I have as a responsible engineer, I'm supposed to be very careful about taking up that interest in such a way that it does not affect my employer or my present organization. Now, conflict of interest created by interest in other companies. See, when one works actually for the competitor or subcontractor as an employee or consultant, or I can be a person having partial ownership or substantial stock holdings in my competitor's business. See, all these things are actually very bad because it is negative to the present organization where I am working. See, you may not be worried because my sp spouse is working for a subcontractor. Okay. So, it, see, if... Uh, I know of an engineer who was working in a very big organization. His younger brother was connected to uh, supplying goods to different organizations. So this engineer, what he did, he manipulated the quotations and tenders in such a way that every year his younger brother got the contract to supply everything that was required for that company. Okay, so such things are against our responsibility as a good engineer. Now, I can use inside information to set up a business opportunity for my family or friends. That is one example that I told you now. So I know what is happening inside my organization. I know what are the requirements of an organization. So to help my family members or friends, uh, if I create a business opportunity for them, knowing the secret information inside my company is actually a wrong thing to be done by a responsible engineer. Similarly, 
buying stock in the company for which one works is not actually objectionable but it should be not from secret informations but from information which the company gives out to the public okay now we have been talking about the different responsibilities of engineers till now uh, i think the next few minutes we will give it as a discussion point where uh, we can talk about engineers who have forgotten their responsibilities at some point of time and created big engineering disasters around us i think one engineering disaster which i remember uh, years ago was the bhopal gas tragedy many of us seniors in this group have directly read from newspapers have directly understood how bad that bhopal gas tragedy was and how it killed many many human beings how it ruined plants animals and families because of a small or because of irresponsible engineers who were working in that 